Manny Pacquiao, legend of the sport, has announced his retirement. Man, what, what, what were your immediate thoughts when you heard that? Not surprised, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's trying to run for president for the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's crazy, man. Some of our favorite athletes now are retiring. Yeah. Now we feel old. <laughs> but uh, he had a great run, man. He had a great run. I think uh, possibly the best fighter I've seen in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. Nobody's ever going to do what he's done, eight divisions. And, of course, it's a bit unfair to the old timers because now you move up four pounds and now you're in a different weight class, right? Yeah. Um, they don't have to work as hard to move through these divisions. But still, that's never going to be replicated again. Eight divisions, you know, going all the way up to 154. Uh, possibly the greatest resume of all time. That's the question of the day. Does Manny Pacquiao have the greatest resume of all time? And when you look at the names that we can compare him to as far as resume, there aren't many. I mean, he's fought so many Hall of Famers, Mm -hmm. beat most of them in different divisions, knocked a lot of them out, totally outclassed others. I mean, Manny Pacquiao. I still remember Pacquiao Marquez won vividly. And after that fight, you knew he was for real. You knew he was here to stay. And you knew he was going to be an all-time great, man. Yeah. Um, he gave us some of the more, most exciting fights in boxing. I mean, he fought the best Mexican champions of our era, right? Morales, mm-hmm. Barrera, Marquez. Yeah. You don't see that, man. And we'll yeah. probably never see that again. No. Nope. Especially in today's boxing. AJ doesn't even get credit. Yeah. But in today's <laughs> boxing, we'll probably... We're, we're not going to see that again, a guy who just goes to the divisions and fights the best, fights all the legends, all the Hall of Famers. I mean, Manny Pacquiao, one of the, one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, no, just, just a big big of what you said. Um, first of all, you no fighter, or very rarely do you even see an athlete span, what, four decades, that many years uh, at the top of the sport, you know, going into the 30s or 40s and, and still fighting the top guys in, you know, in, in, in their sport. You'll be lucky if these guys fight each other in their primes, like let alone out of their primes and still fighting these top guys and you know, just doing it for the love of sport, doing it for 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 legacy, doing it, you know, because he wants to bring happiness to his country. Like there's a reason why Manny Pacquiao was a worldwide superstar, is because he was larger than life. Allah Muhammad Ali, you know, you know, Michael Jordan, where they just transcended, you know, not just their nation, but you know, other countries and yeah, like you said, Manny Pacquiao did it all. The resume is, there's great resumes in boxing, you know, from guys that just want to test themselves. You know, we mentioned Oscar De Loya, who he has in his resume. Oscar has a great resume. And Manny was just a guy that just, you know, his rec- some of his records will never be broken, in my opinion. Um, like you said, the only eight-division champion. You know, this this guy just did it all. And I'm pretty sure if somebody... Try it and whisper in his ear, yo, you could be president and box. He would probably come back and hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he just decides it's time, it's time because he's given us more than, than what, you know, what we deserve. He's put his body through so much, so many wars that it's, it's the adequate time, the appropriate time. Many people say he should have done it five, six years ago, but you know, maybe he got the satisfaction where he now feels like he can let the, the sport go. So, yeah, again, Manny Pacquiao, one of the greatest to ever do it. To me, easily top five. Top mm, five yeah, for he's sure. got to be up there. Yeah. And, of course, you're going to have those guys who, you know, I see in the comments a lot of people said he Ooh. was on, on the juice or that it was six divisions. Hey, I'm pretty sure he beat your favorite fighter, and that's why you, you're not a Manny Pacquiao mm. fan. Um, just go home and sit down, man. <laughs> <laughs> just go home. But, uh, yeah, it's never going to be replicated again. One of mm-hmm. the greatest of all time. Um, if you think otherwise, then I don't know. Just log off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can lay some, some gloves log right now, off Gio. now. <laughs> Fight into your seventies. We could probably, we could probably give him his money's worth. Mm, but yeah. yeah, no, one of the best. I'm gonna ask you, what was? Your, I think you probably already mentioned it. Yeah. What was another of your favorite fights that you saw Manny in? I know you mentioned Marquez. Is I in? I definitely enjoyed when he knocked out Goto. Ah, yeah, made him soon. quit. That okay. was fun. Okay. Um, Goto, that was up there. Of course, uh, I think the ones against Morales. I think Morales was the better, the best one out of that pack of Barrera and Marquez. Mm-hmm. Um, and Morales doesn't even get credit. Yeah. People are weird, but I think that was a fight um, be- between between uh, the best te- Mexican technician at the time and and 
probably the most explosive fighter at the time in, in Pacquiao. So I think yeah. those was that two or three. I think that was three, right? Mm-hmm. Well, Morales was the first one to beat him, yeah. right? Nobody gives him credit for that. <laughs> he was he was beating all these guys, Marquez and Barrera, and Morales was the first one to beat him. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that right there definitely cemented Manny Pacquiao's uh, legacy. Yeah. To me, Manny, uh, man, I would probably have to say, uh, I, I want to say Cotto. I want to say Cotto as well. But there's other fights like with Manny, dude, I don't know why. I just, I didn't like him in the beginning. Maybe because I was watching these fights with my with my dad and yeah. uncles. And I'm like, you're not supposed to be rooting for this guy. And then obviously we grew up with Oscar de la Hoya. With, a lot of us weren't like, you know, expecting that. And we didn't like that he retired somebody that we grew up with but then you grew to love him you grew to love his style the way he fought his humbleness you know all that so uh one of the most memorable he's got so many memorable fights but something about that koto fight i i didn't expect that speed to get in i mean i didn't <laughs> that was I, I, th- I thought koto was gonna that was beautiful get in with that with that power but nah the speed was too much 